Alright guys, uh, this video is going to show you how to actually um, get the two different windows that you see on my other videos open. I had a couple people ask me how I had both of them open, where they were and all that. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick run through on basically downloading it and then installing it and then how to open those two windows. So to download it, you're going to have to go to python.org which I already have open here. Um, I'm on the Mac OS, so I would download the Mac OS version. If you're on Windows, you download the Windows version, but get 3.6 or whatever the latest version 3 is. They have a version 2. The syntax I use only works in version 3. Uh, the syntax changed between 2 and 3, so make sure you get 3. Point whatever. You'll download it. Um, I've already downloaded it, uh, just so you don't have to sit here and watch a video of, of the program being downloaded. So you'll click on it, you'll run through the install process just like you would any other application. And then once it installs, you will go to your finder in Mac OS and you'll go to the applications folder and you'll go to Python 3.6 and you'll double click on IDLE.app. Um, if you download it on Windows, you'll go to the Python 3.6 folder in Windows and you'll find the IDLE.exe. You'll double click it and you can open it. In Windows you can create a desktop icon for the IDLE. Um, as you see here in Mac OS I have the IDLE pinned down here to my um, taskbar so I can have easy access to it. But at first you don't have that access to it so you have to go to the applications folder in Python 3.6 if you're using Mac OS, if you're using Windows, um, I usually install the Python into the program files folder and that way I can quickly find the Python folder that it created inside the program files folder and then I can find my IDLE and just simply double click on it and it opens it up. The shell, which actually opened up on my other monitor, so I'll drag that over here. So then that opens up the shell once you double click on the IDLE.app or .exe, depending on what operating system you're using. So now that I have the IDLE open, it's called a, the Python shell, um, I can go up here to File and click on New File and then that will give me my untitled document which is actually where I write my code so I can write my code in here and then I can click on run run module and then it'll tell me to save it click OK um, here I'll just leave it untitled because it doesn't matter it's gonna save into the documents folder which is fine it's easy to find and get back to click on save apparently I've already done this before <laughs> and then it runs inside the shell so we write our program in a document um, that we get from the shell so we double click on the IDLE.app or .exe depending on which OS you're using that opens up the shell then you click on File, New File, and that opens this other file over here that we actually type into to write our program. So um, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, if you need any clarification on anything, send me a message, and I will try to help you out with whatever you're having an issue with. But uh, hopefully this helps you get your shell and your file open at the same time so that you can kind of follow along with what I'm doing.